Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another Total War Pharaoh Showcase, as we're going to be taking on the Hittite Faction preview, and we'll be playing as King Superloma, as you can see here. We're going to call him King Sup, just for short pronunciation purposes. Moving on to the Hittite Factions, there are two choices. King Superloma, uh, who is going to be the great king at the start of the game, even though the court mechanic is not going to be unlocked until the second Shimsu Hor, like all the other faction. And the other faction is Karunta, who is a relative of King Sup, uh, but we'll be showcasing him a bit later. We'll be trying out King Superloma because we can check out how the great king court functions. So, I will unite this land. Hopping in here, uh, we start out in Hatsusa, the capital of the Hittite Empire. The empire is very weak after Ramsey II uh, fought the Hittites, and it's very fractured. So there are actually multiple cultures of Hittite factions in the game. So in terms of the influence mechanic, you'll see things like the regular Hittite, which we represent, and there are Western Hittite and Eastern Hittite influences that we have to deal with and balance that out in our province. We start out with three of the four regions in the province. Uh, I think this piece here, Arena, is also part of this starting province, has some unique buildings, some historical landmarks that we can build in the outpost, as well as some unique religious buildings, because I believe it's also a cult center for one of the Hittite gods. So in this case, we have completely different deities. We're going to start out with Arena, which is the name of the region here. This is her starting cult. The bonuses, very similar to the Egyptian deities, uh, basic game mechanic purposes. Uh, local regions, units are going to be the Anatolia and the Caskian tribesmen. The units are going to be slightly heavier in terms of their unit weight for the Hittite Empire. It's definitely a culture that had more access to bronze and arm their units accordingly, also because of geographic regions. Uh, you don't have the desert heat, you can wear more armor in this case, and our faction units are going to be Hittite tribemen and Hatsusa, basically our capital city related elite units, and we should also have access to Great King's guards, similar to the Pharaoh's guard, once we unlock that feature. Uh, unique buildings, we'll just hop over here to take a look at the summary. We have a couple unique buildings that provide cheap sources of happiness. We're a very defensive faction. We increase local morale, we increase local garrison, reduce local upkeep, and we also have buildings that boost happiness. Um, basically, the idea is we're going to have a defensive empire that help protect us from attacks from other factions as well as the sea people that will show up. Unit that we have, we mentioned. A lot of heavily armored melee infantry, uh, very elite. We also have heavy chariots, which will also be very useful, assuming we can afford them. For command, also going to reflect sort of defensive nature we have. For the regular command that we can use throughout the five turns in a year, we can improve replenishment for all your armies, and we can encamp in foreign territories to take advantage of this replenishment. And for Shimsu Hor, if we use it during that turn, we increase the workforce growth for all our provinces uh, for that turn, uh, or actually for the next year. So it's actually quite powerful to build up once you have multiple provinces, you can choose to use the Shimsu Hor version, or if you're in a pickle, you can boost extra replenishment. Then for court, we start out as the Great King. So we gain twice as much regard when using uh, intrigue such as gossip, encourage, or discourage intrigue. And whenever there is a new character that gains a position in the court, the five position below us, we will instantly gain enough regards with them for a single request, which is 60. So in essence, we have access to high regards, and whenever there's a new position opened up, we take advantage with a free request, which is quite nice and actually quite powerful. Makes sense for the king. You have a new position open up, you get the job, you want to butter up your king. Aside from that, our title is also going to reflect our defensive nature. You can see that some of the titles that we will get will improve our defenses and replenishment and also keep our provinces stable. So in that case, I'm guessing it's a happiness boost. We'll take a look at the details once we do hop into game. 
And for our starting deity, uh, we have reduced cost of recruitment, increased happiness for the province, and prayers to this deity will increase the resource gain from raiding as well as looting and sacking. So uh, not exactly super defensive here, but the local recruitment decrease in happiness boost goes in line with pretty much all the buildings we have. Our starting outpost, there's plenty. We have a shrine to our local worship. We have a fort and one of these unique landmark, the Hittite Rock Sanctuary. Uh, these unique landmarks in the game will essentially provide legitimacy for the owner. So in this case, we're going to get more legitimacy to shore up our position, prevent civil wars. And in the case there is a civil war for the Hittite Great King Crown, we'll have more legitimacy to battle those pretenders. And we can interact with these landmarks just like with other outposts. We pay homage to it and it will give us a morale boost for the units for a few turns, similar to other uh, forts and whatnot. Basically shrine bonuses, uh, very similar in that nature. Uh, there are two ancient legacies that are unique to the Hittites. Uh, we'll take a look at that once we do get in. There's a recommended one for us, the Mawatali, uh, the Benevolent. We can use it to build our vassal gratitude. Essentially, we can run a huge vassal kingdom. We're surrounded by some very powerful factions in the beginning, and we're going to be very careful here because we've been wiped in our previous attempt as Bay and uh, King Sup also has a hard difficulty rating for his starting position. So we'll try to do our best here and protect Hatsusa. Hatri is a weak and broken land, left vanquished by the might of Ramses the Great. Now a dark cloud hangs over Hatri, and the land lies fractured. Shupil Yuma, son of King Tugalia IV, is all that holds Hattusha together, but fate seems set against him. Though he's surrounded by kin, the Hittites are a fickle and treacherous people. Chupiluma may be the single exception, but the same cannot be said of his neighbors. Lurking far to the south is the most treacherous threat of all, a follower of the stag god who will stop at nothing to see Hattusha crumble. And that is not the only threat that rears its head. Jealous tribes exist in every kingdom, sowing discord at every opportunity. As the Libu rise against Egypt, so do the Phrygians rise against Hattusha. All while Shepliuma fights valiantly to save the lives of his people. I can sympathize with a ruler who must reclaim his ravaged land, desolate from Kaskian attacks. A man who values peace and diplomacy is a rare thing indeed. One who rules through a firm but fair hand, even more so. Alrighty, so now that we have seen all three major factions, a couple comment about, um, I guess, game unique design for the factions. It has the same opening cinematic. Minifet is going to be the narrator for everyone. He's sort of the advisor role that ties the story together here, which you can say it's a bit lazy, but in my opinion, the laziest part of the game is the Royal Decrees. It's going to be the same tree. There is, what I can see, one reform that is different for the three factions, which is the one here. For the Egyptians, there's an influence boost. 
for the Canaanite, there is an increased chance to find an auxiliary item. And for the Legacy of Hati, we get Workforce Growth. So, aside from that, everything else looks exactly the same. There might be another thing that's off, but I don't think so. I think I scanned through pretty much every single one of these, and they're shared amongst the three different factions. And the only reform that's different is this one right here. Right, construction time, construction time, wood, everything else looked the same. So, yeah, that's a shame. Diversity is definitely not uh, in reforms. All right, let's take a look at our starting position and what we're facing. As mentioned, we hold three counties or three regions here. We're surrounded by many tribes that are actually quite big, multiple region factions. So over here we have a five region faction, two is probably the weakest we have, two over here as well, two over here. This one at least has two, can't see the rest, and they have four, and this, or actually five. This one's awkward here. Actually, that's fourth. That's just the river running through it. Because they hold a piece of our starting province, which means we might have to go to war with them. We actually don't start at war with any of the major factions on the map. Our starting battles are against rebels. So if you look at diplomacy, we're actually not at war with anyone. We have one ally, which is actually quite good because there are rule decrees that requires you to have allies to take the bonus. So if we can find one, there is additional wood. So for example, there's a wood boost if you have ally alliance with any of the Canaanite factions. Once you have one alliance with the Canaanite faction, this activate. I think for the Egyptian, there's a reform that boosts food and uh, ally with the Egyptian faction. And then for alliance with the Hittite factions, I believe it boosts bronze. There we go. 15% food for the Egyptian faction. And there should be one Hittite faction, 15% bronze. So it's pretty balanced and equivalent, and it's available for all three factions, just like 99% of the Royal Decrees. So our early expansion is going to run into some problems. We might not want to be super aggressive. Uh, for those who are wondering, these rings are pillars of civilization. These are major settlements that if destroyed or damaged, or if not high enough level, will send the state of the world into collapse and crisis. Um, we're basically going to try to play around with our initial start and see which faction we want to go to war with. Definitely leaning towards this faction, but given our hard lessons learned from our previous campaigns, we might take things slow. And there's actually not a lot of advantage of completing a province. At least from a commandment perspective, uh, early game, I'm guessing three happiness is the best one, or maybe 10% resources, uh, maybe a little bit extra recruitment reduction cost. In our case, we have a lot of buildings that could improve happiness. It's available to our faction. We have the main capital, so we could play sort of a slow game. We don't get gold, which is what this produces. But gold is actually not a finite resource like in Troy, for those who are familiar with Troy. Uh, for us, easy for or for Total War Pharaoh, stone is actually the finite resource. So we have a deposit here, it's a rich deposit, of 20,000. When we, you know, keep mining it, this number will go down. So we can only get 20,000 stone from this province, and that's shared across the world. So stone is actually a very finite resource in the game. Uh, which is interesting. Um, it doesn't limit that much. All the outposts uh, does require a bit of stone, but there is ways to reduce the cost of building outposts, so that will eventually balance itself out. We can build in the many slots that we have, starting at a tier 3 capital here, and we don't really have to force it. The only thing that's kind of unique about this area, well, it's a sacred land because there's a unique landmark. It's also sort of this religious site. Uh, it's the Sphinx Art Gate of Arena. So we can go for that, but we have to weigh the cost of going to war with this pretty massive faction. They have four counties at the start. This gold one actually is unclaimed. So if we do go to war with them, we're looking at sort of copycat problems. They have food, food, stone, gold. We have food, food, stone, gold. So maybe not that much to gain by going to war with them. We can maybe try to 
resolve this peacefully? It could be possible. I'm listening. Territory now. trade is part of the game. We can maybe buy this region. Very expensive, but things could happen. We don't have to go to war. Uh, there's, once again, we must be no ruthless. faction that will start out signing a deal with us. But there are some very powerful ones that we might want to pay and get a deal with early. Uh, so we'll look at that soon. Uh, our starting battles, two separate Touching me costs a hand. invaders. Casca invaders. So Casca mountain ranges, Casca spell with a K Hello. here. Go away, please. Two separate armies here. We have nine units, I will not pretty elite. You can see this is a thunder. heavy unit with the hexagon and the diamond shape is going to be medium sized units. Everything is on the heavier side for the Hittite faction. We start out with better items as well since we are the Great King. And we also have a unique landmark here, the Hittite Rock Sanctuary, also granting us legitimacy passively. And if we interact with it, we get 30% morale boost, which is pretty massive. Uh, we also have a starting fort, which should reinforce us. We can dump some units in there later uh, to reduce myself. our upkeep as we and do yet. start out with negative food. Uh, this army costs food and bronze, but we have party. somehow enough bronze to cover us. I wonder if it's a starting early game bonus that's tiding us over. 55 bronze, that's not enough to tide us over. Is there a building that we have that can actually produce? It doesn't make sense. Ah, diplomacy. We start out with a trade deal in place? Ah, there's an ongoing agreement with our vassal here. So they're not an ally, they're a vassal. And we're giving 80 stone and we're getting 50 bronze. So actually our bronze is negative. It just for this five turns is going to be positive. This is our vassal here. I think maybe only it's two county, not one county. This is not a river. We could look to invade down. Two counties here. The one that's incomplete is going to be our vassal. We get the capital food. Losing out commandments, not a big deal. And also, oh, I actually think with how the game is designed, how we're struggling, getting multiple provinces early might be advantageous because of the limited recruitment slots. Oftentimes, we do have extra food resource to recruit cheap units, but we can only recruit two per turn, which really slows down. So a second army, I don't think there's a supply uh, boost mechanic where basically we get 4% extra for each army. I think that's taken out of the game. So spamming generals might be another approach we're going to try. Basically, we're going to try a lot of different things. We can also invade sideways, also another two county faction. It's food and wood, which is also quite attractive. And to complete that, we would have to go to war with this giant faction over here, which I guess we don't have to complete things, so it's not going to be too bad. But in essence, we got to be careful with our start. Uh, we should do some diplomatic deals while we are relatively strong. I fight for Hati. Uh, let's Hattie see. Will rise again. What is they it look you very scary. And let's see if we can pay them off. So even though we don't have a lot of food, it is a resource I think that is gained relatively easily due to battles. Hmm, that is a lot. Since we do have a somewhat of a stone income, maybe we'll do stone instead. He does not want stone though, this faction. Wants bronze. Not a resource we can really spare. We're gonna just have to give him stone, even if he doesn't want it. Or a mix of stone. It's it's kind of capped out here, point three. It's a very expensive non-aggression pack here. Hmm. But they do seem like a faction we don't want to mess with. We, will make we start out with strength ranking of two, though. Maybe things will be better once we have access to our courts. But right now, eternal. everything else is way too pricey. Alright, so we're going to not pay for those. 
and perhaps start battling. King of Hati. Is there any that we want to interact with to get bonuses before we head that way? As you can see, the shrine bonus for interaction is basically increased to rating income and increased to loot and occupy as well as increased to sack. A passive boost is increased food, recruitment cost discount, and some happiness. Great King of Hati. Let's play around with this all melee and very heavy unit. We should have a title we can equip. Our starting trait still ambition and content, basically ending turn in either march or encampment. We start out with a heavy armor, which gets plus eight armor for bodyguard. We have very, very hard armor stats. Base value is 108. Wow. Shields 45% block, 6% damage resistance for the bodyguard unit. And we start out with the golden spear of the great king. Causes fear. Our unit will cause fear. We'll get plus four local influence. And only the great king or pretender in a civil war can equip this item. It's unique as well. I don't think we'll have any crowns. The pharaoh crowns only for the pharaoh factions. If you pursue Egyptian pharaoh path, we are the great king of uh, the Hittites. That's not going to be available for us. Titles, we start out with reducing the time we're wounded plus experience for this general. Just ourselves. Okay, we'll take that. Now looking at some of the late game options that we have. Untiring and loyalty. Uh, stamina replenishment passive for heavy infantry active with no enemy presence and ability range what is the range of this only for self though oh no no all our heavy units will get this i see so when they're resting when there's no enemy in each of our heavy units range they will get one percent stamina back per second not terrible uh stamina is a big deal it does lower your stats if you're fatigued thundering at the gallop so our chariots will gain breakthrough charge. Units not affected by charge defense and charge reflect and charge bonus durations double. This one seems very powerful. Heavy chariots charging by ignoring charge defenses and charge reflect means we can just frontal charge anything we want and our charge bonus will double duration. Yeah, this is something I think we will consider getting. So focus more on the bottom two, fortitude and ardor. Indomitable in loyalty causes fear, immune to psychology. So basically just the morale swing. We don't get affected by those cause fear and scare, and we actually inflict fear for all the Great King units. These are the unique units that we get as the Great King. Hunt Master, replenish by encamped, extra ammo, extra range for missile units, extra reload speed. Depending on if we're going to go heavy infantry or not, if we're just going to go heavy infantry, this one's probably not going to be taken. This is more of a range setup for the army, which is also interesting because range armies typically don't need that much replenishment since you are fighting more with arrows rather than health. Melee defense plus 4, morale plus 10. Uh, pretty powerful. Still haven't figured out what the max level is, so not sure if we're pursuing something like this, 1313, can we also get six points into, you know, presence or not. Uh, but four points of melee defense doesn't look that bad. Happiness, food upkeep decrease for this army. Line of sight. Nothing too crazy. Heart of Tahuna. Steadfast for tier five and also the bodyguard units. Uh, we don't get penalty from being flanked. Mm, okay. I mean, tier 5 and bodyguard units are the ones probably that you need to worry about the least because morale's high. Extra movement, nothing fancy there. Recruitment cost discount, upkeep discount. Okay. Inspire, right? This is the typical increased morale bonus. We have a chance to get more items. Battle loot also plus 20%. Not bad. Recruitment rank for all units plus three. Okay, so I think of all these, this one seems the most impressive in terms of just breaking the typical game mechanic of charge defense and charge reflect. So probably gonna try this one out. And if we are going down this path, you're saying goodbye probably to a lot of the early game presence boost. So things like this is probably not available to you, but other bonuses seems to go along just fine. Looking at the early game boost, Fortitude. Mm, this one's so close. I think getting this is probably very easy. And then probably working on Fortitude after that. Just trying to get... I mean, it's just four charge bonus. 
Maybe actually all the points should go into Fortitude in the beginning. Because additional movement, honestly not that impressive because you get so much passive movement already. Like at 8 points you already have 13%. Getting another 8%, yeah I mean it's good. Also for all the other armies in the region. But I don't think it's that good. Yeah. Anyways, had a look at that, and we'll take a look at the units once we do get the fight started. You can see the Target fort's going to be available to help us. That's going to show up as a general unit, which really good. Probably going to use him to tank the frontline damage. We're going up against some light infantry. I do wonder what the double circle means. Just like we have double hexagon here for some, and double diagonals here. Like a more elite unit from the medium infantry? That's my guess. But let, let's fight this one. The rating's actually pretty even. In terms of strength. Which is a little surprising. Fog. Um, I don't think I don't think it matters that much because neither side I, we have no range. Reinforcements all the way behind. All right, let's check out our units. Strong against chariots, storm warriors, which means they're good fighting in rainstorm and thunderstorm. Okay, so sort of like the desert fighters. For the Egyptians, we suffer lower penalties from Rainstorm and Thunderstorm. Spendable hide, okay, nothing too crazy there. Bound by also Storm Warriors, melee defense 38 on these guys. 30. This should be our front line. Shielded, obviously even more so. Melee attack is very low. I mean, they did say they wanted to kind of lower uh, or slow down the battle, so kind of what we're seeing here. We're getting penalized because of terrain. If we move to uh, flat land, you can see speed comes back, starting out here, speed penalty, charge bonus penalty. So where you use the chariots does matter quite a bit. We want to fight in the open. They're going to be pretty, they're going to be pretty set to stay there, I'm pretty sure. We have to march up. It's a little gap here. Kind of want to just throw this unit in there. Yeah, generals, all the bodyguard units have really good stats. I mean, they cost 300 food. I think spamming generals might be a pretty decent early game play. Alright, this is probably our path to get up and then somehow charge behind. It'd be better if we lure them out though. Not sure if we can, because there's a lot of trees here. But if we also charge them here, also could work. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. No rush. They're in no rush. We're in no rush. They're going to be sitting tight. Yeah, fog does limit quite a bit of visibility, but maybe we can... Oh, they're over here. Ooh. Okay, okay, too many. Feels like we can get in here then. If they're all over here. Run. Alright, we're gonna form a line here. If we can get three units attention, and then we can fight everything else against our main army, it's not too bad. Alright, once we're in position, I don't want to get flanked. Uh oh, too late. Too late, too late. Alright. Not too bad. Let's see how heavy chariots run into units. They're not light units. Oh, they are light units, right. Too impressed. It's still a decent chunk damage. Trying to see if we can. Oh, they put themselves into a hold. March on. 
places men. I like this. Get behind them. My village was always misty. Okay, we charge this way now. Go deeper. With me, man. Flank. Move. Alright, got the chariots behind. Bound by duty. Okay, that health is now very low. Let's see if we can just get fear on him. With me, man. Collapse here. The bodyguard's gonna take forever to kill. Just like this guy's holding us forever here as well. Chariots. See if we can wipe them out here with another charge. Spears. That should be a full surround on that guy. Soldiers of Hati. Yeah, I can't see anything in this brush. How are they still not wiped? King of Hati. Chariots moving! Do we have to set up again? Get away! Oh, he's shattering. Let's turn around. And charge. Chariots maneuver! There's a lot of friendly units here as well. Oh, I'm getting good push. That should do it. Alright, they can Break their take spirits. care of that. We're gonna go over here and help. Alright, he's done. We're gonna set a defense here for those units that's gonna come over. Terra's gonna quickly wipe this out. We're gonna join the fight here. I don't think we have that uh, we do have cause here. Alright, set up a screen. brothers! Reset, reset. Of course. Move. All right, hurry up. Wipe this unit out. Spears. Soldiers of Hati. Yeah, we can't really charge Place into the chance. forest here. All right, we're gonna hold. Oh, we can't. We already got engaged. Chariots. The wrath of Hati. They die today. I mean, they're absolutely surrounded here. Their armor is being bashed and broken. And we we definitely overwhelmed them with a lot of units, and yet I don't think we're that advantageous against them. Like we're not killing them fast enough. All right, let's see if we can maybe make a push here. Two warriors. We are more elite. Force them back! Yeah, we're not very good in the forest. This charge in's pretty... Triumph pretty brutal. Awaits. We'll see if we can set up another charge on this. It does inflict they a lot of damage. The right, they're about to break. We gotta kill at least this guy. Free up some units to go over there. Bodyguards just take forever to kill. Might and glory! No, can't kill him fast enough. Ready for battle! Alright, reset. Where are the thousand gods? Make them tremble! Not too fatigued. Just charging through this forest doesn't really do us any favors. But we're still bringing it down quite a bit. Alright, finally cracked a unit. Let me get a heavy over Fight here. And glory. I like this. My village was always misty. Faith. All right, he's also torn apart. Gods. We're seeing morale crack a little bit more. Strength and wisdom. File in Never and surrender. push through. The air feels thick. What is their stat? Why is the bodyguard unit always so hard to kill? Well, the melee defense is only nine because we got all the flanking on the unit, yet still impossible to get Turn killed. Back. Armor's damaged. Hmm. Victory is not possible. Yeah, we did the full flank. Destroy yeah, them. that unit worn out. That's okay. Destroy them. 
it's hard for them to pull out of the forest. They're probably not going to be able to do too much. Try to get this push through. We might be able to route this guy. See if they can add a little bit of damage, perhaps. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how he's doing so well. No friend would be so faithless. I think they do get wiped completely here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we fought that one poorly, but still definitely have to trade a lot of health for it. Not a full wipe. We Hittites never give in. We got plenty of food and bronze from that. We're gonna actually just go for replenishment here. We must make use of them. I will not let my kingdom be torn asunder. Um, I do think my we have to fight them. To my men. Or else we might run to an issue where they raid. Or they sack one of our outposts. Far greater loss than in, than we should accept. Alright, get some replenishment boost. Looks like we're going to be pretty heavy infantry. Come oh, we do have a lot of units available to us. Time. I guess we do have a building for recruitment. A lot of very high melee defense unit, but not a lot of good melee attack units. We might just pick up a few javelin to help us out early. Okay. But first, gotta take Great care of this King mess. Of I am busy right now. Worried about them sacking this. But I'm also worried about fighting them. We'll be pretty weak after this battle. Just because we can't prevent casualties from me being traded. If we play it safe, it would be something God. like this. And then we King of recruit two. Let's start out with the happiness boost again. What to work for? Okay. There should be a lot of buildings for the capital here. There's a landmark, the Royal Legal Complex, Victory Point plus one. It's probably the only reason this should be built. Actually, no, faction wide happiness. Never mind. That should be built once we do get tier five. So save a slot for that. I believe there's also the Grand Temple of Arena, which we should also build at tier five. It's a cult center building. And then for resource boosts, we have the barley plantation, good food, more food, work forth growth plus happiness bakery. This seems to be something we should build maybe on turn one just to offset this happiness issue. Plus construction turn, uh, it's pretty painful in my opinion. A little bit of wood, nothing special there. Right, we have tier 2 here, infantry barrack. Yeah, a lot of infantry units available to us. Percentage increase. The grayed out one should be related to influence. As you can see, we are the Hittites, but there's also Western and Eastern Hittite influences. And uh, it's going to take some time to get it all the way up for us. I think the bakery should be built with our starting workforce. Want to bounce that happiness back. Want to increase workforce growth. Want to increase food. Uh, minus 10% upkeep, melee defense plus 4. These are all great bonuses, actually. That's not bad. Alright, dump the units so we have positive food. Glory. I'm going to leave him alone. Hopefully he doesn't do anything crazy. Maybe there's no way to sack unique monument outposts. That's going to be my theory right now. Because they're sort of like landmarks. Could be wrong, but it surprised me. History will remember me. Yep, things look worse because we were weakened. So good thing we got those deals done Hattie, early. I fight. I fight for Hatti. And I, I don't think we can peace out with anyone because this faction that we are at war with is not really, not really a faction.
Yep. Alright, let's see what they do to us. Should be the same as all the other factions in the game. We can build monuments to add more legitimacy. Region trading or production increase. Uh, probably not. Maybe for one of these later. It's region boost, so it's going to be... Well, this only has a stone mine. We can build an obelisk here. I think that is faction unique for us. This is quite good. This is something we should aim for. We have to get this to tier 2, though. Alright. We have a few goals. Let's continue here. Let's see what they do. And here comes a random army walking through our land. They're just marching. No raid. Our vassal. Oh, don't tell me you can actually damage that. It's not destroyed. The icon hasn't changed to one of these. That's an empty one. We got a gift of units. Our vassal provided us this event. We get a Kaskian Axeman. Well, we can special recruit them, basically. King we still have to pay for them. Oh, they're free! Vassal units, but we do have to pay upkeep. Well, that's actually very nice. And we have a bunch of victory conditions so far. Oh, we do have a feat of rule. We became the great king, or we start out as a great king. So we start out with 10 points. Now, I believe these numbers will get updated before launch, because I, I think i seen some of the discussions. We're, we're giving feedbacks on these build, and I think one of the feedbacks is the points are too low. Uh, you hit your victory conditions quite easily, because there are so many ways to gain points. For the Hittite Kingdom. But now we feel better about winning this. Oh, they did sack it. Uh, how much to repair... 79 gold, 395 stone. We don't get any legitimacy. Basically, six point loss of legitimacy. I don't think it's a big deal. It's costly. We'll see if it can bounce back by itself. If it can, then this is fine. If it can't, then we made a big mistake, but. Always vigilant. We're here to learn. Let's Come, hit that. Let us safeguard, Hati. Give me your units. And, or give me my units. Noble and Opa. let's hit him. Attack the enemy! And now he runs into neighboring land. With me! Go on then! Speak plainly! <sighs> Any chance? Nope. We'll trespass. Servant of the people! We're probably gonna fight them off Make early. It count! Alright, still all infantry, same setup. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as difficult. We have a little bit more javelin here, which opens up some new strategies. If we can get more of an opening fight, we should be okay. Yep, this is fine. With chariots and heavy units, we don't want too many. I mean, rain's okay, but I think with mud, it's going to affect our chariot performance. I hope they don't make this too easy. Okay, so this is probably the front line that we want to have a collision with them. And then everything else needs to sneak across. King of Hatusha. Ready for battle. 32. Yeah, they don't have as high. Of melee I defense. Must. I could go with them, actually. Victory awaits! And death will be bloody! March! Honor bound! Alright, we want to get engagement right here. Maybe between Speed the rocks. 
But we also want to kind of match them. I don't want them to overload too much on one side. Triumph awaits. Kill the roaches. Turrets maneuver. We could get behind, actually. Alright, in this case, they're not sending enough units. Back up a little, back up a little. Right, if they're gonna get distracted, we can play it differently. Chariots moving! How did we miss this? Cavaliers! Always fearless. All right, we're fine. In Hattie's name, for the thousand gods. I'm gonna slip through this side. King of Hattie. Move. Chariots. Come through the gap. One at a time. Kill them all. Mm, they're still moving with us. The Bound by duty. Hit our javelin. No rush, no rush. Turning into position. With me, men. Axes. March, brothers! Swords! March, brothers! Where did they come from? Soldiers of Hati! Alright, we're just kind of chasing that unit around. Name. They died today! As fast as we can! This unit should get wiped here. Destroy them! Um, our javelins are not coming in handy, but it's fine. This very well controlled battle here. Not, not sure if I want I don't want the shots. Don't don't shoot them. True warriors. In case they charge us, trying to flank us, we will be here. We can see this unit's been killed, that unit's been killed. Cherry can go. Actually, Cherry can go here. They're just gonna go into the line, that's perfect. Run this down, actually. Ready for battle. And kill this unit. Without now we can charge fear. here. March on. Yeah, the terrain's a lot better for the chariot Terrence on this maneuver. one, and we actually getting some decent chunk on them. But for this Break one here. Spirits. Take heart. They die today. Yeah, we don't need the javelin. It's gonna make a mess of our friendly fire situation. Never falter. Let's route this guy. Strike now. He should route. He should route now. Kill them all. And then he should just army loss. There we go. Got the win. Much cleaner. was with us uh, I'll take food for this Mercy one is not weakness can we not with get there me. ah time to move. upkeep that we are not going to be able to save follow me but we do want to recruit so I don't want to change stance we got two weapons bodyguard Damage plus five. I mean, we have a really good weapon. We're not gonna change that. We could consider adding a general. Like I said, I think it's not bad. It's 300 food for a general. I, th I think it's worthwhile for unit quality. All right, well, let's see if the 
Repair fixes itself. Character affairs, game rank. I will not let my kingdom be torn asunder. All right, we can run these at enemy infant uh, range units, but it kind of looks like there's not going to be a lot of range units that we're going to be dealing with. Anatolia militia. Just going to grab a few Stand more javelin units me. here. With one workforce, I think we'll save it. We'll get this upgrade, get the building discount going. We'll have another growth next turn. Should be fine. We're a bit stronger. Right. right okay, so we can maybe squeeze a few deals out here. Our neighbor here. I fight for Hati. They're kind of far away. We must be ruthless. History will remember. Hati will arise again. All Why right. should I listen to one I so despise? Uh, don't despise us. Everyone has stone, huh? That's what we have too, so deal with it. Uh, I think we can spare some food. Same setup as last time. That would be tough. All right, locked in another non-question. So we're good with them, we must and we're also good with them. Rise again. We're probably still gonna try to target them up north. But we're definitely going to build up our strength first. He's just passing by, right? Call to arms. He's getting attacked by... The faction that just signed a deal with us? So we just signed a non-aggression pact with them, we paid them, and they're attacking our ally, slash vassal. If I decline, they're no longer a vassal. Hmm. We probably also lose the bartering agreement, which puts us in negative bronze territory. But it makes us feel like a fool by paying them. So we're going to decline here. We can observe this war. Could provide an opening for us to attack. Are they one territory? This is sure to be a waste of time. Wait, wait, can I see if they're another two county? Okay, they have more. They just have one that province. All right, are you recovering? Not at all. Okay, that is slightly concerning. For Hattie's glory. All right, all our expensive stuff. Still negative food, King but that's fine. Party. We'll run a little bit negative until we fight it. Let's see, is this worth it? More health, way more armor, morale bonus, speed, slower speed, but that's expected. A little bit lower melee attack, a lot more melee defense, so much more of a frontline unit and more damage. Okay. Heed my summons. Problem solved. We have nine units we can absorb, so this army should go to about 11. We have no more workforce. Um, yeah, pretty dead set on getting this. Got the happiness boost. Oh, they're starting to raid us. That is no that is land. no good. That absolutely kills growth. And if growth is killed, we can't build stuff. Great king of Hati. 
Guess Hattie's we're going to war glory. with them first. It's a two region faction, shouldn't be that strong. Oh, it is most we can interact. Extraordinary. We should squeeze out a bit more movement. March on! Stand ready! How can this possibly work? I when wish there no were some sort of us. warning mechanism, like in Warhammer 3, where you can tell them you're doing something that's, you know, not allowed, and if you don't stop, we have the right to declare war against you. Because right now he's just coming in to attack us. Let's make sure he has no you allies. Are the source of All right, he, he has no allies. That's good. I'll take experience. I don't think any of these small percentage is going to make that much of a difference. Is it still really, really... It's not coming back up by itself. Okay. Noble yeah, we're on March, so... 17 unit it is. They give us food, they want our bronze, they want our stone. We're not that desperate yet, even though we're running at negative 800. Alright, first ambition. These are pretty fun. Maintain four units of the following type, tier 6 unit. Uh, we have no access to that right now. Hold five settlements. Pretty difficult. Uh, assuming we destroy this faction, we get their two settlement, it's possible, but in 12 turns, a bit rough. We don't have anything that produces gold. We're going to have to go with this one, actually. Seems the most feasible of the three. You have a blessing event as well. My people I mean, it feels first. like in this situation, we should have every right we must keep to focus. kick them out and declare war on them and get some Come bonus for defending friend. our land. It is time. That's, that's not how it works. Alright, let's make sure nothing has changed. I do not see how any we don't see any alliances. Alright, we'll just declare war here. They're fairly strong. The AI gives them 14 strength. Feels very strong. We didn't defend our vassal. Making future deals will be more difficult. But I think that's not really going to be our concern King here. Bring order here. Start the assault. All right, easy crush. It seems. We're probably going to build an outpost in this. Oh, wow, that's a lot of trees. Like, they can hide in this tree, they don't have to come engage us. Archers would be very nice, we can burn those trees, but in this case... Uh, okay. We're not relying that heavily on range units, so it's not that bad. Leave them for the carrion birds. Absolutely cannot see where they are. This is our frontline section. We cautiously push in. He needs to sneak through the side, basically. Even then, I don't think we can... Oh, there we go. If we can bait them to fight us in the open, our chariots can actually do something. Actually, go here. Just hide on the side. I hope they don't make this too easy. Spear throwers! Alright, looks like our flanking angle is going to be from the left. In case there's something going on there, and then we're also going to be flanking from this side. Well, they're not taking advantage of their terrain. Happy to take it for them. Actually, just, just sit here. I think they should make it in time. Plus seven melee defense will take that. They're not, oh, they're kind of tilted, but that's not too bad.
We fight for Hati! With me, men! Destroy them! Swords! Death take you! Glory will be ours! Throwing spears! All right, we see our target. That's our charge target. Never surrender. Sword. Sword create this running. really odd angle here. Sword. It looks like we're getting actually a pretty decent flank. March, brothers. Soldiers of actually, Never let's surrender. just use our chariots to take care of both Finish of these. Them. Look at that initial charge damage. It's actually pretty massive. Of course. Well, that, let's call that three. Chariots! Chariots maneuver! In Hathi's name! Kill them all! Strike with purpose! Actually, actually stay here. I am a troll! Make them tremble! Marsh brothers! Engage that, make sure they can't do anything. Right, hit them from behind, make them turn around. And then we'll just hit them like this. Charis, chase that. Go for the flank here. Speed and grace. Yep, they're very exposed. Aim straight! King of oh, they peeled one. We fight for Hati. Javelin Salvo. With me, man. We will prevail. They run like cowards. Hit this. Throw now. Come back here. Should have a charge over here. I'm gonna squeeze this in here. They've been flanked. We'll still probably come in here. Give a little bit of fear. Yeah, they're done. Over here. Strong of spirit. For Hatusha. Swords, a thousand gods watch over us. Strike with purpose. Yeah, the general still takes forever. For the homeland. They really don't have space to get in there for the fight. We don't need to throw them in there. This should be a pretty easy kill. And then we'll do chasing Great with the chariot. Right, he's dead. Uh, they're done. Just, they don't need to use them anymore. Chase this for now. Once they route fully, we'll throw the chariots back. Ah, army loss. We got it. Pretty clean fight. Now, I expect them to have a lot more, so it's not over by a long shot. Proud of you, men. Yeah, we get a decent chunk of food as long as we get a fight every turn. This negative income is not a big deal. Just debating whether we need a little bit of extra bronze or not. We're still going to be in our own territory. I think replenishment is not going to be a huge Mercy issue. Mercy is not weakness. I will not let my kingdom be torn. We're fighting asunder. into that's a capital. That's not a capital. We do have to trespass into one territory Your to reach that if we want to go there the first. Which makes it a little bit trickier. They could send an army out here. Great King of Hati. But I think we should attack where the road is. And also take out their forts before we go for the main settlement. Righteous King of Hati. Noble King. Heed my summons. Okay, 
I feel like we throw another general out there. It doesn't really matter, just the bonus distributions. The Blade of Hakti. They do, like, the entire faction shares the same title setup, which is actually pretty impressive. Yeah, we can use them as a recruitment center once we get another point here in presence. Uh, not this, but this. We have extra weapons. Oh, did we just pick that up? Did we have that from the beginning? Oh, we probably did have this in the beginning. Diplomatic relationship boost. Great King of Hati. We might go with this. For the diplomatic relations. Armor piercing damage. It's a huge boost to damage. Alright, we don't have anything else. to spill blood they have the same exact boost but they do change different stats depending on the weapon so this is just plus five melee attack this is plus eight but we lose a little bit of melee defense but we get more damage history will remember me. Yeah, even though if he fights alone we just march up I know we're very negative food it's okay like I said if we just keep fighting it should be fine uh, he used up all the local recruitment warriors. slots, so he can't do it. He's just going to go up and follow to them. Glory. I want to build something here, though. We can stack shrines. I was thinking about getting this, but this is four turns now. It's just not going to be ready in time. I guess it's just too slow. Is it, is it still that damaged? It's still that damaged. Okay. Until we get gold, we can't fix it. So it is what it is. Let's end turn here. We get our first Shimsu Horror. They give us 99 food. That's barely anything. We'll just trade someone with a lot of extra food sitting in their offer and Great nations are built dump it. On my Personalizations on the map, local deities, commands, power of the crown. Uh, we can use this to increase workforce gross, but I think we actually want to increase replenishment when the fight gets pretty hard. Five, so it was still ongoing, the bronze trade, even though we stopped defending them. So that was nice. We have access to the courts. We are the it great king. Time we counted and oh. Coin and listen to the people. We have open slots, so when someone takes these positions, we actually get enough regard to get a bonus with them. Now, things are going to be a little bit different. We have Elite Unit and Special Recruitment, because we're the Great King, it's now active. Our Intrigue costs additional gold or regard. Plots against them have a lower chance, and then 20 points of legitimacy. Oh, we can even assign our own generals, I guess. So usually gossip is 20 regards, now we can get 40. Positions are going to be a bit different between the pharaoh, uh, the Egyptian court, and the Hittite court. So we have high judge here, and the request we can have with him is take ruling. Um, immediate receive a chance to make a ruling at the case of the judge. I guess he has a case maybe with dealing with plots? I'm actually not sure how some of these work. We can disband a rebellion. by engaging them in battle. Do we still fight them? Yeah, the rest are the same, just the requests are different. Embezzle's still here. We probably want this. Not sure what Seize does. 
more bonus for bodyguard units. Chief, chief of the royal guards or royal bodyguards. Oh, it says seize removes any plot. Okay, that's clear. Embezzle. Yeah, steals gold from the treasurer. Desires up on cases for rewards. Visit sacred Hati Lane to modify happiness. Disband a rebellion once per year. Um, we need money. Our so we're just gonna gossip alive, with him. My countrymen. We would have enough to do it nowadays. next turn. Get going. This way, when we leave, he can still Righteous recruit for us, King and we can. Hati. Build up our forces. What else can we do this? We have Power of the Crown. Ah, uh, so instead of crowns, we have weapons that we can customize. There's also Karunta's Bow of the Hunt. So he's the pretender, basically. Instead of having five Pharaoh crowns, we have three weapons. We actually don't have that much legitimacy. We have a pretender. Oh, that's our neighbor to the north. You have done mm. nothing to be worthy. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. How is their faction strength 37 with so much land and this faction here has faction strength- Oh, he's dipped. He was very high. He was 16, I think? Local deities also available. Devout general plus 5 armor. Okay, there's, these bonuses are just going to increase. Uh, we can also see what other deities are available to us in the local area. Arena, which makes sense. We have the Holy Land in the first starting province, even though we don't own it. Sha Shawushka? Shawushka? Melee defense on recruitment for melee infantry. Seems like something we would want. Especially if we go heavy infantry. Melee attack plus 35%, melee damage plus 35% for the Devoted General. And reduce. So, if we have a heavy melee army, this would be really good. It goes from one to three. It's not a lot of melee defense, but more of a defensive one. Let's see. We also have Tarhuna. Increased morale for chariots. This one, not as good in my opinion. Charge bonus. I mean, yeah, if you have a chariot focus army, maybe this is good, but... Uh, what is Furious Charge? That's the other question. Can't check it. We can Encyclopedia it, actually. Uh, let's see. Furious Charge. Uh, let's do units. No. Alright, keyword doesn't exist. We have to unlock it to figure it out, I guess. For the Hittite Kingdom. Let's take a take a small stab here. Make it count. We also have to siege this. Okay. Well, that's two units that's not going to show up. We have 12 labor force available. Do that. Keep them closed in. We're actually, fight for let's do a different combination. Start the assault. This is probably better. Hunger will start to set in. Press onwards. For your families. We're going to have to trade for food. Uh, we're running out of food, but. That's fine. We'll go with the cheap ones. I only tolerate strength. Oh, actually, we have with special recruitment. Have a Golden Spearmen, Messidi, Royal Hittite Chargers, and the Royal Hittite Chariots. All very expensive, but uh, My definitely options we have. Let's see, let's see. Who does not care? Well, who likes I us? Fight for Hati. No one really likes us, but, you know, I am interested relative. To hear it's all relative. I need your food. Uh, give me a thousand food. Uh, that's a lot. Um, 300 food? 
Probably doable. We'll pay in stone. Hmm. What if we do a bartering? What do we do? 180 stone. Well, I guess they just don't want stone. That's the problem. Hattie will rise again. Will you aid my Might be a perfect glory. faction. Baseline variations down. Take the deal off. That's what's bothering us, actually. Yeah, that's what was messing us up. Shouldn't be that negative. Um, let's do, let's say, six hundred. Can we get at least some back? Five hundred back. Uh, you want to splash a little gold here? We could use some gold. Let's put this deal in. This will tide us over for one turn. Which I think is all we need, because we just get the fighting going. If they see another army, we can get some food from that. They can come in and raid next turn as well. I want to build this thing. Let's do it. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think I want to activate this for extra workforce. It's not really worth it. We have one province. Alright, waiting for this army to show up. Oh, wow. Once again, a lot of enemies, and we're probably going to have to retreat out of here. 24 plus 26 enemies. We have 17, 19 units here on our side. We don't have to fight such a bad battle setup. We can try to trap them. Six javelin, eight javelin. That's a good sign because we can chase those down with our chariots pretty easily. We need a new strategy. Stay close. He's on march. He can't get out of this. We can hit him. Where is he going? All right. So we'll end the episode here. But oh, we got new positions. Which means we should get the immediate enough for regards. We, are called to we can plot assassination. Work. Extra court actions also available. A special recruitment flanking maneuver for own army. Uh, anyways, we'll come back take a look at those. We can maybe assassinate a position to Hello. open them up again. This army's on the Go march. Away, please. King of Hati. We must be ruthless. Yet we cannot hit them because King of this river Shukuli location. Yuma. He can strike this next turn. My only issue is I can't really afford to not fight. Alright, this could be a bait. Maybe set up an ambush behind them, but then we have to trade for food. That's basically the, the trade-off here. Anyways, that movement's not going to get saved. I just want to see if we can actually hit them. Does this actually- it doesn't hit, right? We can't cross. But I think I this is a good enough bait. Right I think now. they'll fall for it. Wisdom. We'll be behind. Justice. And we should be okay. So that's probably our strategy against them. Once we crush the 17 force, we should be good enough. Yeah, AI factions, that's their th they have three armies basically. They had a seven over here, they had a seven, and they have a 17 here. So can't underestimate them. And uh we'll see how we do here. And we'll come back and hopefully conquer some new land. As we do have this ambition going on, 10 turns to get both of these. So wish us luck. Until next time. Bye.